Yo, what's up? Um, I just woke up. I could barely sleep last night because I've been waiting for Unmatched Adventures. Unmatched is my favorite board game of all time. Unmatched Adventures just makes Unmatched a bit more fun because now you can play cooperatively. And they just released, just super announced uh, their Kickstarter campaign. And we're about to check it out, react, get a little nuts. All right, let's get into it. Uh, I can't wait. Literally, why am I waiting? I, I can't. I cannot wait anymore. We interrupt this program to bring you some disturbing news. A monstrosity the likes of which we could never conceive is preying upon civilians. This sinister invasion is downright petrifying. All right, I hate to pause it, right? Because the, the video is getting momentum. But this guy says, this is... Oh, this is something we could never conceive or whatever. I don't know what the exact quote is. Don't like, don't hold on to the exact quote for me. But um, they literally conceived it, you know. Um, someone made this game, made up the characters and the monsters, and they said we could never conceive it. But they literally conceived it. And maybe I'm being nitpicky. Um, and maybe I got problems, um, which I do. I got problems at home. And mentally, but that's just something I thought I'd bring up because this is the kind of commentary you're here for. Doom and terror seem to be our fate. Wait, what's this? Humankind will not go quietly into the night. These yeah! nefarious antagonists Golden have a on their hands. <laughs> go! Unmatched adventures, tales to Yo, amaze. Hold up, that mini looks very big. That is a big mini, and we love that. I've heard that some people didn't appreciate how Mothman doesn't look like enough of a man. He looks plenty Moth, but not enough man. I'm digging it. He's scary. He looks like a villain to me. A new standalone cooperative game that encourages loyal viewers like you to recruit your... So, I've paused this part, and I've tried... Are you even listening to the video, or are you just waiting for me to pause? <laughs> I, I, I have paused... And tried to read these uh, like a special abilities, couldn't read shit. Um, and I even put on my glasses and I couldn't read anything. I know that Golden Bats move three. Everyone else has moved two. Later we're gonna see Annie Christmas's uh, special ability, so we'll get into that. Your favorite heroes. And Yo, Golden Bat. To defeat the game's frightful villain. Yo. Even as those villains pursue objectives of their own, mm. hoping to escalate their plans and make the dire. This like little. Uh, this look little ditty right here reminds me of Pandemic. Like the more uh, outbreaks you have, the closer you are to losing. It looks like if you destroy a bridge, that's a bad thing. Okay, because we're superheroes and we're here to save the day, not destroy bridges. And bridges kind of represent uh, the current structure that we have right now in society. Escalate their plans and make the dire situation even more fraught for your heroes. Yeah, you know, hero. you know, we're gonna pause it and we're gonna look at Annie Christmas's uh, special ability. She's a move too. She has a sidekick, which I actually did not really think about any of these heroes having sidekicks. So that's actually cool and a surprise. Annie Christmas is a melee, of course. Um, it looks like Charlie, <laughs> my man Charlie, look uh, is ranged. Okay, we like Charlie and we like that he's ranged. She has a fourteen health. So uh, she's looking like she swings big, uh, but is very pokeable. Uh, looks like my man Charlie has eight health, which is actually kind of high for a sidekick, and I like that. Her special ability is Necklace of Pearls. Add plus two to the value of Annie's attacks if she has less health than the defender. That's fucking huge, uh, because first turn, if she can reach her opponent somehow, a lot of opponents start with 16 health. A lot of opponents, you know, like Achilles and Golden Bat, have 18 health. Uh, so she's going to be swinging big. And if we're just talking about Unmatched Adventure specifically, she's going to be, I mean, the, I think that Mothman has like 30 health. So right away, she's going to be just swinging plus two, which is itch. Wait, can I read Golden Bat's thing? Let me see if I can do that. Um, it says, the first superhero... If you haven't performed a maneuver action this turn, add plus two to the value of Golden Bat's attacks. If he can somehow reach 
of somebody. This will work great on melee. He'll just do plus two attack. That's very simple. I think that's going to be harder to pull off than Andy Christmas's special ability. But in the right situation, I know he has that five banger. So that's a seven. Um, and if he can attack without maneuvering, he could probably attack twice. So that's huge. And look at Golden Bat's back art. I mean, oh my God, it looks beautiful. And Christmas's looks great too. It looks like um, my grandma would really like this uh, card back. And my grandma's the greatest person I know. So that's a huge compliment. Even more fraught for your heroes. And don't forget about their minions who lurk in the periphery, waiting to strike. You know, Defeat the villain. The card backs look amazing. Look at that health dial. I think it goes up to 30. Mothman has one of the coolest health dials of all time. It has some of the coolest card backs of all time. For all hope is lost. Cooperation is key. Work together. Be brave. Yo, just my man's is holding up the earth. And he has a five attack, which could be a seven now, we know. And he has two of those. So I'm sure... I'm sure the strategy is to swing uh, a big seven. And may your efforts be not in vain. Our no, I'm not going to read the villain cards to you right now. That's too much reading. Fate depends on it. Hold on. It can't be. Aliens. Another villain. Probe me, Daddy. Citizens, will you rise to the challenge? Unmatched adventures. Tales to amaze. Now on Kickstarter. Yes, I will rise to the challenge, um, and I will do a good job. My expectation is that I will win first try, um, even if uh, I suck. So, that's amazing. I'm hyped. I already contributed, and this already doubled in size. Uh, this was at 50000 when I pledged, and now it's at 100000 So, this thing is successful as frick. Um and it's not even, we're not even halfway through the day yet. All right, so now we're going to go down. We're going to look at this poster. Oh, man, the, the poster looks good. Oh, I like the art. There's aliens, the golden bat, everyone else, the moth. Why do I only like the weirdos? Like, I don't care about the humans at all. And I'm, I have a feeling Annie's going to be, I have a feeling either Annie or golden bat are going to be my favorite of the two. Um, because I like big swingers because I am a swinger myself. Impending Doom, uh, nothing we don't experience every day. This game is realistic in real life. Initiative, it looks like the villains are going to have a uh, stockpile of fucking cards and you just flip them over and that determines if they're attacking or not. I don't know how the movement's going to work. I don't know if you make that decision for them. So that's kind of weird and quirky and cool. You move in Unmatched. I don't know if you've ever played Unmatched, but you move uh, plot. Um, yeah, there's uh, you get the most out of your cards. And it reveals one of Annie Christmas's uh, cards. And I took a screenshot so I could read it out to you. It says, Captain's Orders, place Annie in any empty space in her zone. Then place another friendly fighter in an empty space in Annie's zone. Gain one action. So if you play doubles... This card is amazing. Um, if you really want to beat up the little guy, the weak link, um, get him out of the freaking game. This is how you do it. You gain one action. You slap him around. There's no escape. You beat him up. You bully them. So that's a great card. Golden Bat with the five again. Um, easy peasy. Uh, two diabolical villains. Yep, with the great minis. With the cute little tokens. Oh, we like that. The card backs looking good. If I had to rank these card backs of the uh, the minions, um, I would go Loveland Frog, Jersey Devil, uh, Skunk Cake, Tarantula, Ant, Blob, or maybe Blob Ant. Yeah, Blob Ant. Look at that tongue. Uh, we're going to get a quick look. Um, a miniature look at uh, what they can do. Dr. Jill Trent, science sleuth, uses her collection of gadgets for a wide variety of tricky effects, good defenses, and consistent healing. So to me, I feel like she's going to be like the um, kind of the Sherlock of the group 
where her whole thing isn't just swinging huge. Even though she has a five swinger, we saw that. There's proof. But I think she has the ability um, to heal a lot, which is going to be nuts. And if I'm correct, and I've been correct before, this is a cooperative game, so I would not be surprised if the wording on her cards or her ability would be something like heal you anybody or heal your um, ally, whether that means your sidekick when you're playing 1v1 or if you're playing 2v2s, your, uh, your partner. And if that's the case, that is also gigantic. Um, so I think she'll just be like effect heavy and I can see a lot of peeps really digging her. Um, I'm sure I will too. I will, I'm going to be playing every character for sure. Any Christmas, um, dang, she looks strong and she's like seven feet tall. So we like that. Uh, Annie Christmas hits harder when she punches above her weight, gaining a bonus against higher health opponents. Uh, we already knew that. Um, yeah, she's probably on the simpler side of things, on the bigger swing side of things. So you know I'm going to like her a lot. Nikolai Tesla. Um, I feel like he's going to be like the 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 one I'm I'm not sure about the most you know like I feel like I don't have any idea of how his coils are gonna work I hope it's not just as simple as you run away you charge and then you attack <clears throat> I hope the coils do more than that like maybe the gain you move if you want um yeah just something something just not as simple as running away and charging and then attacking golden bat my boy the the coolest guy in the game um the world's first superhero uh, is a versatile superhero with big numbers and powerful effects who hits harder when he stands his ground. So now that we've looked at his card ability, uh, n now that we've looked at his special effect, we know that if he just sits there, takes a hit from a melee character, um, he can gain plus two. So he's actually quite scary. But against people who are ranged and someone like a Miss Marvel or T-Rex, I don't know if he's going to be able to really pop off his effect that much. Hopefully he has stuff to move him and gain an action or something like that. So you can just swing. Dang, that map is big. It's for five players and it's double-sided. I think both are unique. And um, so, well, yeah, you just get two maps with it. That's amazing. Uh, the tokens are looking mad cute. Loving all of them. My favorite, maybe being the, the aliens, actually, the Martians. Um, I love the, the cornfield. I'm from Ohio, so you know you got to represent that corn. Um, so it looks like Jill Trent gets uh, some cool stuff. You know, you get, you get uh, a cool, unique token. Not just have these straight-up big swings. She's going to do nasty stuff. Uh, with effects and we like that we like character we need characters like that we can't just have the simple ones running around we got to have the big brain um, people to help the sweaty uh, competitive players feel like they're the smartest people on the planet that make them feel like they're science sleuth any christmas has some pretty stuff there's my boy charlie charlie is so wholesome but he's got a gun <laughs> um, nikolai tesla his coils they're cool his card back is cool um 14 health uh, we'll see i'm s sketchy of this guy for sure and then golden bat my boy with the coolest card back in all of unmatched adventures um and the best mini he's just an icon uh the weebs love him the ladies love him i love him if you pledge you get some extra minis um that don't come with the game um, I kind of didn't want to know what the Martians looked like. I kind of liked them just being in the UFO. But this uh, shows my superiority, my dominance to all people who did not pledge. So that's kind of nice. The foils looking pretty. Love the foils. Yeah, so, I mean, that looks like that's all we got here, gang. Um, if you're a science sleuth, um, if you love Unmatched and, you know, you want more characters... <laughs> And you want a new way to play the game, to keep it fresh, to keep it alive, pledge. Um, pledge your loyalty, undying and unwavering loyalty to Restoration Games. And uh, go ahead and get this, man. It's important. 
Um, it looks like they don't really need your help. It looks like I don't need to be promoting this because they already have a hundred thousand dollars. So it looks like I'm not contributing much, but I thought it'd be fun to try to be part of the community. All right. You have a great day. Subscribe.